Welcome to this Google Drive screencast on storing and sharing files. In this screencast specifically, we're going to take a look at just an overview of Google Drive and kind of explain how Google Drive is set up. And if you want to get started, you can open your Chrome browser and go to drive.google.com. That is one way to get directly to Google Drive. I would suggest maybe making a bookmark after you do that. Another way is if you just go to regular old google.com and you sign in, so I'm already signed in up here at the top, on this black menu bar you should see Drive as one of the choices. So different ways there that you can get into Google Drive. So here's my Google Drive. I've already got a bunch of files that I've been creating. I just want to kind of talk about the structure of Google Drive here first. Let's start with this left sidebar. If you take a look, uh, it says we're in the tool Google Drive. Here's the create button if I need to create a folder or create any of the Google Drive file types like a document, a slide presentation, a spreadsheet, a form, or a drawing. You can connect more apps. So you see I've added some other apps in here. We'll get to that maybe in a later screencast uh, if you want to add other apps that can store those files here in Google Drive. This is your upload button. If you're going to upload files, we'll show how to upload in a uh, different screencast. Down this left side here, my drive, it's clicked on, it's red, that's the area that you're currently looking at. So I'm currently looking in my drive. My drive is kind of like one big folder that is yours. This is where you can create files or organize files that are shared to you. You can uh, create folders within here and we'll get into creating folders in our next screencast. There's a little tiny arrow that's located here next to my drive. Uh, if this arrow is closed, meaning it's just pointing at my drive, you don't see anything else below this. If I click to open that, and it, it pivots down, then you'll see any other folders I've created in my drive here on the left sidebar. I personally like leaving the my drive area open so I can see all my folders on the left side and I can jump to whatever folders I need to jump to. So if I click on a specific folder, uh, you'll notice that the folder color changes to red. That means I'm currently looking at that folder. As well as right here is a little trail. I'm in my drive and within my drive I'm looking in the EdCheck, EdTech Challenge Plans folder. So just a little bit of how to navigate there. Sometimes I close this when I need to get to these other menu choices. So my drive is one menu choice. Shared with me, this is anything that has been shared to you by others. So you'll see over here on the right side, it says who is uh, the owner of these particular files. You can organize these files into folders of your own. You can checkbox them. And I could click on a little folder here, the little folder icon, and I could say I want these to appear in a specific folder, and I could check off that, that folder. So you can organize files that aren't yours into your folder structure. So my drive and shared with me are kind of the two areas that are good to know. Starred, if I star a file, these are like favoriting a file. So you can just quickly click on starred, and you can see the files that you've kind of favorited if you want to get to them quickly. Uh, an example of that, if I'm looking in my drive and I say this is a file that is important to me and I know I'm going to be using it quite often, I can click the little star there and now when I go, it'll still be in the same folder I left it in, so right now it's just in the my drive uh, folder, but if I go to starred, you'll see that files also shows up there too. So you can star things that you use often that you want quick access to just by going to the starred area and if you don't want the star on there, you can click and turn it off like I just did and that file then does not appear in the starred area. Recent is anything that I've accessed recently. So these are files that I've last opened or edited. If I click on more, there's some other choices down here. Um, I'm not going to point out all of them. I'll just I'll point out some that are important here. All items. This is anything that you own or that is shared to you. I like this because this is also set up by owner. Um, so if I scroll down, I can see who owns what files. Google Drive is very collaborative workspace. So uh, these are files that are also owned by others that I have access to. The trash good to know that if you do trash something, so if I go back, so let's say I have a file that I want to trash, I want to trash this file right here, I can click and hold on this and drag and drop it to the trash, or I could checkbox it, and when these menus appear up here after you checkbox something, I could go to more, and I could say remove, that would also send it to the trash. It is important to know that trashing something is a two-step process, so I've, I've now sent that particular file to the trash. If I go to the trash, the files will all sit here until I click this empty trash button, especially if you're a teacher and a student says, oh, a file went missing. It's good to know. Check the trash first. Maybe it's not really gone. Maybe it's just residing in their trash. So that is the trash area. Up here at the top, we have a search bar. This searches your Google Drive. Uh, what's great about this is there's a little arrow over here on the side. So 
Uh, Google's known for search. If you're trying to find a file and you can't remember what folder you put it in, that's okay. You can search for it. So if I was specifically going to look for um, demo slam, I could type it and you might get the first four or five results that come up, but it's always good. I always like hitting the return key because that'll give you even more than those initial four or five that just kind of fall out of the search bar there. So if I do demo slam, here's anything that has the words demo or slam in it. Um, if I was looking for a presentation I created previously, uh, you know, some, some appeared here, but I'm getting a mixed match of files. I'm getting some presentation slides, some documents. Another nice feature up in the search bar is when you do your search, you can come over and click this little drop down arrow and you can specifically narrow down what you want to search for. So if I specifically wanted to look for something uh, with the words demo slam and I knew that I wanted to look for presentation files I can click that and now all that's going to come back is anything that I either created or shared to me that has the words demo slam in it that is a presentation and you can do that for all these different file types um, I can also search for files owned by me or not owned by me so if you know that someone in the past sent you something and, and it was David that had sent it to me I could search David's name and any files that are not owned by me and that would bring up all of David's files. So just a great way to really filter down and narrow your searches. When you don't want to see those little filters there anymore, you can just X them. So I'm going to X this presentations filter and now it's back to just a normal search for demo slam. And I can X this search to clear it out and now I'm just back to my regular drive. So great to use the search bar to find your stuff. These buttons over here, um, if I click sort, right now mine is set to sort by last modified and so Another thing that goes along with the sort button here, these are your headers at the top of this particular area that I'm looking at. So I'm currently in my drive, and right now my files are organized by last modified because that's red. If I wanted to organize by title, I can click on title, and then all my stuff is now organized alphabetically in my drive, starting with my folders. So these are all alphabetical. Once I get down past my folders, these are files that I've just left in the my drive big folder area. So that's, if you need to see stuff alphabetically, you can sort by title. I personally like last modified. This also tells me if I have a file that's shared with someone else, their name will appear after it if they last edited it. So in this case, Jenny last edited this file at 1116 AM today. Um, that's helpful too, again, just working in this collaborative workspace. These two buttons allow me to either look at my files in list view, which is what I currently see. Everything here is in list view, or I can click on the grid view, and this shows little thumbnails of the files, uh, pictures of the folder. I can click on these to go into a folder, um, or go, you know, I can go back out over here using my left sidebar. Um, I personally like leaving it in list view. Some people like that visualness, so grid view is there for for that if you need it. Under the uh, display density. If you click on that, you can choose if you want your files to be kind of smooshed together, which is compact or comfortable. If you watch, and I change this here, if you're working in Chrome, this lets your files breathe a little more. There's a little bit more space between the folders, between the files. I personally like seeing as much as I can on screen, so I leave this on the compact choice. So that's kind of an overview of Google Drive. Uh, we'll get into some of the other screencasts where we talk about how to create files and share files and all that. Thanks for watching.